please like, share, and subscribe to Central Coast Bass. Yeah, baby. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Central Coast Bass. I'm back here at Uvis, and my plan is not to go right down here, which is the roadbed area. My plan is to go that way. Now I showed it to you in my last video. I was sitting there and I'm like, oh, the water's down enough. I think I can go that way. I did really good down there two years ago when I first came to this lake. Wow, I got reception. Yeah, there's a spot down there and right below it, there's a bunch of rocks. And well, I don't really know what the trail's like. Like I said, that's my plan. If I can't make my way all the way down there, I'm gonna have to come back here to the roadbed area. But I'm thinking I can get down there. And if I can get down there, I think it might be game on. Hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, see if I can make my way to where I want to go. I'm heading this way. I'm going to make a left. Problem might be the trees in the way. I remember fishing this area. Looks doable, guys. Looks doable. Great. It's just around this corner. It looks like you have to go through the tree. No way to make it around the tree. It's just on the other side. Let's do this. Take off the cat cam. Duck down low. Yeah, this is the spot, guys. This is the spot. I made it. There's the rock. There's one rock there, but there's a bunch of rocks out there. And that's the golden spot. Let me hook up the old drop shot. Start with what uh, was nailing them last time. See if I can get myself some fish. At least with a drop shot hook up. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to throw the flick in first. Seems to be nothing around this area right now. Just nothing. Evidently I'm gonna end up, end up working my way back to the roadbed area because I ain't getting jack diddly nothing right here. Anything? Oh look guys, it's grandpa. I didn't even know it was grandpa. Belly jelly? Yeah. No idea. All I do know is I haven't had a bite yet. <laughs> really? Be a man about it. Smell it. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Nasty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You're the best, man. Yeah, I smelled it. Here, smell it. <laughs> it. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Here, smell this. Go catch some fish, man. Follow me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do a different show, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm taking Grandpa with me, and we're going to where the, we know the fish are. Cause, I mean, sorry, guys. I went down there. That was a hot spot. Right, get your shit. I didn't get a bite. He doesn't usually fish this side, so I want to show him the best spot while he's here. This wasn't planned. I didn't plan to run into him. Of course, I did. I did see him the other day and tell him like. Caught six fish here. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm, I'm bringing Grandpa with me to the hot spot. What? Five days later, but hey, there's my bench I love so much. Yeah. I know. I love it. Right out there, it comes up. It drops on this side. It's a gully that goes in there, and right out there it comes up higher, like an underwater island. And it's got rocks on it, there's tree stumps. It kind of comes around this way, and there's kind of a funnel right here. But yeah, this is the hot spot. Water's a little clearer now. It's about four to five foot now. Got a bite. One just pecked the jig. Probably hitting the claws and that, but yeah, it's start. Nothing on the jiggy poo again. Well, one bite. Let's try to flick it. 
He's got smelly jelly for me if I want it, guys. <laughs> they just do not like this. All right. I hate to try the drop shot. I don't want to get disappointed if it doesn't produce. Did you get a bite? It's not over yet. One's, one's still on it. Did you get him? Hey, look at that. He caught a bass. He was in there shallower. Shows there's fish. Get another one? Oh, he's just whacking them in over there, guys. Just got another one, guys. Oh, that's a bass. Or oh, it's a really big bluegill. Oh, he's just working them down there on the freaking night crawlers, guys. So I got the got the master baiter next to me. I mean that in a fishing sense. No, I know. <laughs> well, I know you knew. I was just telling the audience. Oh. <laughs> I think I have the stink on me. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get a bite. David's already caught like two bass and three bluegill on live night crawlers. Got one little nibble on the jig. I tried the watermelon, I tried the brown, purple, the brown grape. I just tried the four inch cut tail, the baby bass. I tried a, a morning dawn robo worm. I tried the flicken, can't get a bite. What worked just five days ago in my Friday show, I can't get anything on it. I know they're here, obviously, he's catching them on night crawlers. Guess I'm gonna have to go deeper into my bag of tricks. And hopefully that gets me some fish. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I smell like. Well, you usually smell each other. I, I think, yeah, I think you let me smell that stuff and I did it. <laughs> took, <laughs> took a whiff of that smell, uh, smelly jelly and now I'm like, no fish will touch me. <laughs> the racer's coming. I seriously cannot get a nibble. You got a nibble? No, I haven't got anything. Oh. oh, there he goes, guys. Another fish. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. Jeez. Big old bluegill on that freaking night crawler. Yeah, I know. It's a bluegill master right now. Plus, <laughs> plus two bass. So you don't think anything works. Well, sad for me, right? Yeah, uh huh. What? A bait? A little swim bait? Throw it, man, throw it. It's kind of cool, actually. She's trying baits you found. Yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, <laughs> lots of tail action there. <laughs> All right, if he catches one on that, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm calling Uncle. And shoot me on the way out, will you? Exactly. <laughs> and what? Your tire was flat when you got back? <laughs> I don't know how. It was, it was flat when I left. <laughs> all right. It's all Grandpa's fault. <laughs> Every time I go fishing with Grandpa, I don't catch anything. Oh, I know what it is. You brought the pinot stink with you. It's possible. Last time I was there, I didn't get a bite. It's That's what it is, guys. Remember, I went live in pinot and I didn't get a bite. I remember. I figured it out, guys. Outstanding. Grandpa brought my pinot curse with him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. I'm tired. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, if you still have some. Yeah, I do. I told you I did. Alrighty.
smelly jelly? Would that come to that too? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, sure, yeah, give me the whole bottle, will you? I'll pass on the smelly jelly. Yeah. I got two actual live night colors, totally guys. Totally big, big ones, too. Here's got. All right. my excuse. You can't leave. That's right. Mo most viewers have left by now. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, wait. He was the only one catching fish. Yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. Like last time. Okay, there's two... Two night crawlers, that's all I got. Put the live night crawler on the drop shot. I have such freaking night crawler slime on me now. Just catching them around here. Oh, there we go, guys. <laughs> I'd have fished it already. He's still on it with the bluegill. I think. Yep. Oh my god. Sorry guys, my camera went out, but fat, fat bluegill. Problem is, he took my whole effing worm. Alright, I'm gonna have to break up the other one. Ooh, look at that. I found a red worm in there. I found a little red worm. I don't know, I gotta catch something. And I guess it's gonna have to be bluegill. Already had one. Got him. Oh. It's a bluegill, this is a nicer one. Yeah, it's a bluegill. Killed by his fight. <laughs> That's a nice sized bluegill, guys. Not much of this worm left, guys. Got like two more casts. Felt like that one had it good. Oh, that one does. Oh my god, what do I got? Oh, it's a bass! <laughs> How the heck do I catch a bass on a little teeny piece of worm? <laughs> Alright. This kind of tripped me out, guys. I knew he was fighting bigger than the bluegill. Yay, guys, I caught a bass! On a little piece little piece of a live worm. One more night crawler left. That's all I have. The biggest piece of night crawler, the head. Got him. Whoa! That's another bass? Oh my god. What is this? Yeah, it's another bass. No, it's a big old bluegill. Look at that bluegill, guys. Oh, that's a red ear. I think, oh, maybe it's blue. No, I think it's a red ear. Might be a bluegill. Yeah. Somehow, he did not take my worm. This one piece of worm actually lasted. Thought I was going to run out. He caught a fish, and then, uh, that was it. Now, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to throw around the jig for the last little bit. Whoa, whoa guys, whoa. Yes. <laughs> I caught one on the jig. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> well, it was the only thing that got a bite earlier. Yes. Success. Who is Ant's a little keeper? Look at that one, guys. Look at that one. All right, guys. Yes, yes, yes. A keeper. <laughs> Wish there were your trash. Okay, what are these people doing besides locking me in? Yeah. Okay. Why? What'd I do? Oh, nothing. We're just locking up the reservoir, so. Oh. We just drive by, make sure everyone's good. Oh, okay. You're the one I, I talked to, right? You're the one that does your filming. I can't see you. <laughs> oh yeah. So you're doing more filming over here today? 
Yeah, I filmed right here. How'd you do? Shitty. Caught six on Friday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Good, man. And I got back today. Nothing. Just caught one keeper on the jig. Which is better, Ubis or Chesboro? I've been doing better here. Okay. <laughs> I told you you'd see me again. I'm out here all the time. Yeah, now I know your vehicle. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to do it for this edition of Thunder Coast Bass. Probably one of the hardest shows I've fished in a long time. Yeah, I've gone to shows where I've only caught one or two fish. But to me, that was just, I, I kind of have an idea, and I think I know what was happening. It was that water clearing up. Remember just five days ago when I was here for that show, it had that green look. It was about two to three foot visibility. Now right down there, it's about five foot visibility and it's cleaned up. It really doesn't have that green tint to it anymore. And I know when that happens at Pinot when it gets really clear, they love night crawlers. They won't touch an artificial. It wasn't just me, two other people, including grandpa. He fished a plastic for a while and he never got a bite either. Anything, any change like that can totally change fish guys. If the water turns really green when it was clear, or like it did this time, it had that green, then it's clear, it, it'll always change things up. So just remember that. I sure hope you enjoyed it. And please join us for our next Center Coast Pass Fishing Show. Give us some likes, share, and as always, sub if you haven't. Oh, and that sheriff, yeah, I just talked to him at uh, Kyda Creek Lakes the other day. That, that's what he was talking about. I'm out. Soul music, baby. Sweet soul music.